So I had to find, one time they wanted me to find, um, to find out if there was such a thing as, um, as a poison that was undetectable, especially one that seemed to uh, mimic a heart attack that would kill someone, but it would it appear that they had a heart attack. I did find such a thing. Does this pistol uh, fire the dart? Yes, it does, Mr. Chairman, and a special one was developed which potentially would be able to uh, enter the target without perception. The, the poison was frozen into some sort of dart and then it was shot at uh, very high speed into the person. So at, when it reached the person, it would melt inside them, and the only thing would be like one little tiny red dot on their body, which was hard to detect. There wouldn't be a needle left or anything like that in the person. But also the toxin itself would not appear in the autopsy? Yes, so that uh, there was no, no way of perceiving that the, uh, the target was him. Have you brought with you um, some of those devices which would have enabled the CIA to use this poison for, we have indeed, for killing people. The round thing at the top is obviously the sight. It works by electricity. There's a battery in the handle and it fires a small dart. And the dart itself, when it strikes the, the, the uh, target, um, does the uh, target know that he's, about, he's been hit and about to die? A special one was developed which potentially would be able to uh, enter the target without perception. As a murder instrument, that's about as efficient as you can get, isn't it? It, it, it is a weapon, a very serious weapon. A wave of extreme heat that comes from nowhere. It's one of the U.S. military's newest non-lethal weapons, an electromagnetic beam that emits an odorless, invisible, and silent blast of heat. This is a military area. Move away from the perimeter. I say again, this is a military area. Move away from the perimeter. Their new active denial system boasts a reach far beyond any other non-lethal system. Yeah, well, it's a versatile system. Uh, it, it has a, a range of uh, non-lethal capability that we can't even come close to with any of our fielded systems today that are in our military forces. About seven football fields to give it some perspective. It felt like opening up an oven door almost mixed with a sting from about my sternum to my neck. So like you started really feel it on my neck before I had to kind of instinctively jump out of the way. This weapon, under development for 15 years, has yet to be used in the field. The technology has attracted safety concerns, though the U.S. military says the rays do not penetrate the skin and pose no health risk. This is an American spy pigeon. It is equipped with an explosive device inside that is as powerful as a giant bomb. Next to it is a military-grade chip to process incoming information. Below the pigeon is a turbofan engine that can dive at a target if necessary. Above the engine is a fuel storage tank to power it. On the chest of the pigeon is a high-definition camera that it can take very clear pictures even at a great distance. The pigeon's head is equipped with a transmitter that transmits the information it's captured. It's watching a house. The house is home to one of the Soviet Union's top scientists. It's watching every move the scientist makes. It transmits the information it's captured through the satellite dish. The spy satellites in the sky pick up his messages and pass them on to the intelligence office on the ground. The intelligence officer synthesizes the information. Once he analyzes it to the detriment of the U.S., he gives the order to attack. When the pigeon receives the order to attack, it would immediately start its jet engines and swoop down towards the scientist's house. The next day's newspapers carried a message. The scientist had been killed in a fire. One of these pigeons had been captured. When it was disassembled, it looked like this. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who well. Peace and salutations to the elect, and much respect to the brothers pushing his word in the four winds of the earth. And shalom to you, few sincere sisters out there as well. This is 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter. I'm going to read 3 through 9. 
And it says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Right? I'm going to that word perdition or perdition real quick. And it says, uh, destroying or utter destruction of vessels, right? And it's just showing that, that it's Esau. I'm going to go here. Let's go to Romans real quick. Romans 9. Let me get up out of here. Let's go to Romans real quick. Romans 9. I'm going to start at, uh, at 21. Okay, it says, Have not the potter power over the clay? The potter talking about the Heavenly Father. And the clay is talking about people and period. And it says, Of uh, the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor. Right? The vessel made unto honor is talking about the Israelites. And the vessel, the vessel made uh, unto dishonor is talking about Esau and these other nations. It says, what if the Heavenly Father, willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction? Talking about Esau. Okay? So that word, uh, you've seen how that word perdition went into vessels. Okay? And he's a vessel uh, of wrath fitted to destruction. And that he might make known the, the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which are the Israelites, which had which he had at a four prepared unto glory, right? Us in the kingdom. I'm gonna go back here. To second Thessalonians, the second chapter, and read verse four. It says, Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the heavenly father or that is worshipped. So that he is the heavenly father sitteth in the temple of the heavenly father, showing himself that he is God. Right? And that's what this man does. He, he, he has a God complex and he wants to be God over the earth. He wants to, you know, be able to see everything, be able to control everything, you know, manipulate what he wants. You know, this man is trying to be the most high. Right? And I'm going to show you a video right after this uh, of what I mean by that, man. You know, because this is it's, it's definitely a spiritual battle. But, he, you know, this man is battling for, for, for people's minds as well, man. The evil genius. And it says, remember ye not that when I was with you, I told you these things. And now you know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. Right, and this man is definitely being revealed now. People are catching on to his bullshit, man. But a lot of people are still going to be swept up in the uh, in, in you know in the waters. They're going to be swept up in the waters anyway, man. And it says, "For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way." And this is talking about the heavenly Father. Letting this man do what he's doing because the Heavenly Father has set this man up to do what he was doing before and what he's doing now. Okay, the Heavenly Father has set this man up. And then shall the wicked be revealed, which is Esau, Edom, so-called white man, the pink people, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Now I'm gonna say this too, man. Not all, not all people that look like so-called uh, Caucasians are Edomites. Okay, there are definitely a lot of Israelites that look like Edomites, man. I'm just gonna put that out there for the people, you know, the new people coming in, just to uh, you know speak on that. It says even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, 
right? And that's the spirit that lies within Esau, man, these Edomites that, that you see ruling the world right now, man. You ask yourself, how damn, why are these people so evil? Because they have the spirit of Satan working within them, man. With all power and signs and lying wonders. Pause. All right, this is officially a dream come true, right? We got the NBA dashboard over here. I'm watching the NBA game. Let's go heat, right? I can just grab the corner, make it smaller, but then I can also make it huge. Like, look how big I can make this thing. And it feels real. Like, it feels like it's in my space. Like, look, half my dog is not even showing up. What's up, Archie? I'm walking through here. I'm going over here to grab this, right? Like, it just feels real. I got Twitter over there in the corner that I can just look at and then just swipe through. Like, it knows that I'm looking at it. Of course, everything is Vision Pro, Vision Pro, Vision Pro. Tap this. I can go to Safari if I want to. Cl click that open and grab this. Move it behind me, maybe. So it's out of my way of anything. And tap to now I'm on YouTube. Let's pause that. Let me go back to the game. Press play. It's just amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, that's what I mean by, you know, this man trying to control people's minds, man. With that, uh, that Apple Vision, okay, which is out now for purchase. This shit is like $3,500, man. And this is, uh, it may not seem like a, a weapon to some, but that is definitely a, a weapon that Esau uh, is using right now, man, okay? To take attention off of the things that he's doing. So, of course, you know, Esau is going to put things out there like that uh you know pretty much to you know manipulate people man into doing his bidding you know that's how this man operates man it's all about mind control with him man and anything that you put over your eyes or around your head you know it's, uh of course that's made by esau man it ain't <laughs> ain't never no good coming from it man you know, but I, of course, there's going to be a whole bunch of people that go out there and spend uh, $3,500 uh, for that device, man, to their own detriment. Let's get uh, Psalms 52 and 5 through 7. And it says, The heavenly Father shall likewise destroy thee forever. He shall take thee away and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place and root thee out of the land of the living. The righteous also shall see and fear and shall laugh at him. Lo, this is the man that made not the heavenly father his strength, but trusted in the abundance of his riches and strengthened himself in his wickedness. Okay, and this is how uh, Esau uh, gets down, man. You know, he loves to do wickedness, man. You know, he can't sleep unless he does wickedness. This, this man is embedded in wickedness, man. And that's what he does that's what he does throughout the earth, man. <laughs> wickedness. This is why this man is the wicked, man. Right? Now some people, you know, may say watching this video, damn, why you show the the heart attack gun, man? I I know it came out, you know, the came out in the 70s, you know, that particular video is uh 1975, but you know, all people don't know about it. For one, for two, that's something that this man still can use, right? For th and, and third of all, I'm showing it because if they had that back then, you can only imagine uh, what they have now. And most importantly, if he used that shit on somebody, that should that should have killed him right now. You know, this man is a uh, like I said earlier, a wicked, evil genius, man. Let's get Psalms 58. I'm going to read 2 through 4. I'm going to start at 1. It says to the chief musician, it says, Do, do you indeed speak righteousness, O congregation? Do ye judge uprightly, O ye sons of men? Yea, in heart ye work wickedness. Ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. 
The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born. Speaking lies. It says their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear. Deaf adder is, is a poisonous snake. Which will not hearken to the voice of charmers. Charming never so wisely. It says, break their teeth, O Heavenly Father, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Lord. And it says, let them melt away as waters which run continually. When he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrows, let them be as cut in pieces. Right? But my point here, okay, is for their poison is like the poison of a serpent. You know, this man has many, many uh, uh, ways to kill a person, man. That f that famous uh, saying, uh, there's six million ways to die, choose one. Well, there's more than six million ways to die, right? But Esau has many ways to kill a person. Why? Because he was blessed with the fatness of the earth. And in order for him to rule over the earth with all the fatness that he has, he was blessed with the sword, man. Uh, pursuing uh, Genesis, the 27th chapter, okay, he was blessed with the sword. And this is what this man uh, continuously uh, uses to get what he wants when he wants it, man. You know, let's get, um, let's get Job 20. Let's get Job 20. I'm going to start at, um, start at 11. Right, and it says his bones are full of sin, or his bones are full of the sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue, though he spare it and forsake it not, but keep it still within his mouth, yet his meat is in his bowels is turned, it is the gall of ass within him. Right? So these dudes, you know, Esau's real slick, man. Real slick with the mouth. You know, he's good at at, at deceiving people with his words, right? Like uh, that the micro the microwave uh, technology that I showed you. You know, I don't know if it's a dual weapon, which is a direct energy weapon, but uh, they they do use uh, this this micro. Uh, microwave technology man now they're saying that it's not it's not fatal and you know it can't hurt people but that's bullshit man you know a lot of these people that took that jab uh unbeknownst to them got metals uh put inside of their body right now what happens when you put metal inside of a microwave and and press start the microwave is going to blow up so if this man were to use some type of microwave weapon right now, a lot of these people out here that took that jab, if he put that shit on full blast, uh, would die from that from that uh, microwave weapon, man, because of all of the metals that were put inside of them when they uh when they got poked, man. Okay, so once again, this man has a, a lot of weaponry. And he uses it with cleverness. And he'll use it to kill you and make it look like you just died of natural causes. Right? So he can't be blamed, man. You know, this is what a, a snake does. A snake creeps around, right? And he'll bite your ass and he'll haul ass, man. You know? That's what snakes do. And you just lay there uh, to die. You know? This is how this man gets down. And that other one, wow, with the pigeon, man. That's why I always be watching them pigeons <laughs> while we at camp, man. And if you notice, you know, a lot of brothers probably notice, man, there's always a lot of pigeons around us. Now, we know that's uh, the Heavenly Father's uh, favorite bird, which is a dove. But a pigeon is nothing more but, but a dove, you know. But Esau... You seen the video, man, using pigeons to watch people with uh explosive devices inside of them. And you seen what happened, man. 
You know, this this man uh has a lot of uh technology at his disposal. Okay, and he he uses it, he uses it to get what he wants, man. And this man will stop at nothing to get what he wants. So, you know, soon, you know, this man is going to show, you know, all of the technology that he's been uh, working on in his laboratory, man. And that shit is definitely going to be brought out uh, this year, man. Because this is the hopeful year of, of Jacob's trouble, right? So these things are definitely going to be uh, brought out this year, man, Lord willing. You know, for the for everyone to see, you know, what this man has in store for, for the wicked, for the wicked people out here, man. The wicked two-thirds. Let's get Proverbs. I'm going to end it here. Let's get Proverbs, the fourth chapter. I'm going to read 14 through 17. And it says, Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away. For they sleep not except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away, unless they cause some to fall. Right? This is Esau, man. For they sleep not except they have done mischief. Right? This man gets no sleep unless he has done some mischief in the earth, because this is what the Heavenly Father has set this man up to do. And their sleep is taken away, unless they cause some to fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. And this is what this man is. He's a violent, bloody man, right? There may be a lot of people that look at him and, and don't think that, but soon they're going to see, man, you know? And that's just a, a little uh, a, a little bit of, of his... Uh, technology that he has at his disposal man you know this man about to bring out a lot you already see the the, the robot dogs the, the, the combat uh robots you know the uh the the drones right those drones are dangerous man you know i saw a video where a man was running from a drone and it just kept Follow him. He was running around something. I think I brought it up in a, a previous lesson, but that shit always sticks in my mind. You know, he's running around, running around. The drone caught up with his ass and blew his ass up, man. You know, this man has, and, and a lot of things that we watch in cartoons, like, you know, G.I. Joe, Transformers, you know, so on and so forth. Those things are, are on the earth right now, man. You know, a lot of those things that, you know, the bad guys would use, you know, to cause destruction, man. So I just wanted to bring this out real quick and show some of the enemy's uh, weaponry, you know, old and new. So uh, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to say shalom to the next one.